First day in pads for y'all out here. How was it to get some real football action? Oh, it was good. It was fun, you know. Got to knock the rust off. We ain't been in pads in January, so it was good. Sean, you kind of made a spot for yourself here. Are you kind of proud of what you've been able to accomplish because the odds were a little long, don't you think? I mean, yeah, you're proud, but you can't dwell on it, you know. Like football, it's a never-ending process. Every day you got to go out and prove yourself. So it's been fun. It's like going into another year, what are some things that you worked, in, uh, worked on in the offseason and trying to work on this season? Oh, man. <laughs> trying to improve my pass rush, you know, and just play football, not let it get – just focus on your mental, don't it? Don't let it get too, like, stressful and stuff. Enjoy the game. Don't lose the fun in it. What have you learned from Oh, man, David's a beast, you know. So I've been with him four years now. I'm just trying to, you know, be a sponge and soak up everything he tells me. So when, when people call him one of the best interior <coughs> pass rushers in the game, you're right. Yes, yeah, of course, of course. It shows every, every each and every week. I guarantee if you go ask any of the O-line we play against, they don't want to see David. So, like, as a defense, do you feel like you guys uh, can be elite? Oh, oh, yeah, yes, sir. I mean, shoot. we got most of our de defensive guys back. And uh, the D-line, you know, I wouldn't consider us young last year, but we had a bunch of younger guys, and most of us are back. We get another uh, year to play with each other, so everyone's getting comfortable. What's it like being on a defensive line that rotates as much as this New Orleans Saints system does? I mean, it's good, you know, like every three or four plays we rotate, so you don't never really get tired. So, I mean, you stay fresh, you know, you never really – out of win. Fourth quarter comes, you can press the gas. Do you feel that advantage against the offensive line, the opposing offensive line that's on the field? Oh, yeah, of course. You know, you don't really think about it, but the offensive line, they don't never really rotate. So, I mean, like I say, we still fresh come fourth quarter. Sorry, we've been uh, having the issues with Contavious and Will Johnson out there trying to speak to what they bring as a better presence. What you might have done for them. Can you repeat the question? Sorry. Yeah, I say you brought, they have Kentavious and Jalil in there on the D line now. It's kind of what they brought to the table and make some things to learn from them. Oh, man, those are two athletic big guys. You know, Streak, he's freaky athletic, twitchy. And Jalil, you know, he's powerful. So, yeah, you know, it's what our fourth practice, fifth practice together. So, we just, you know, taking it one day at a time, teaching each other stuff, telling them what we see. What do you think of Penny? Say that again? What do you think of Penny? Oh, man, he's, he's going to be pretty good. He's going to be pretty good for sure. Any advice that you would give him as a defensive lineman playing against those guys in the league? I mean, well, he practiced against two of the best, you know, Peyton, Cam, and Mark is about to come back, so I'm sure they, you know, they go against him more than me. So, He's he going to be a good player for sure. You mentioned the athletic twitchiness of a guy like Contavious Street. Does that end up impacting the way that you approach your plan? down in and down out knowing are the power guys next to me or maybe the more athletic guys next to me? Do you adjust for that? You know, we, we speak about it a little bit, but we line more of a field thing, you know, like we play off each other, you know, so if one guy, he, he he's a, you see something across your face, you might pick up his slack or something like that, you know, it's just a field thing. You, you get it from playing with each other.